This is going to be a quick demonstration of taking the face off of a mail clock. Alright, so you're going to open the door and the first thing you want to do is you're going to take off uh, the minute hand and then the hour hand. So let's go ahead and do that. Most of them have a little nut right there that you can unscrew with your hands or if you need pliers you can do that, but I'm not going to do that. And sometimes they do have a pin that you slide out and then you just pull both of them off. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the nut with my fingers. See the minute hand already fell down. Now, whenever you do this, you want to take a picture of what the time was, it, what the time the clock was on, uh, before you take the hands off. That way, you can set it back correctly when you're done. So, set this aside somewhere. Uh, don't don't lose it. Don't break it. Next is the hour hand. Now, hour hand on the clocks isn't really connected there. It just uh, sits on this, uh, I'm not really sure what that's called, but it, it just sits right here and you can move it forward and backward, doesn't really matter, but this one's a, a lot harder to get off. Around here is a little ring, and that's the only place you want to grab it by, because if you grab it like right here, uh, you could risk uh, snapping it. So you're going to grab it up here, I know you can't see right now. But we'll give it a little wiggle and it should uh, just pop right off. And you can see right there where it uh, covers up onto the rod. And put that down next to your hand. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I misplaced the nut, but it's actually right here in front of me. So, next thing you want to do is look around and see. Uh, what's holding it on there? Uh, sometimes you'll have these are screws, but sometimes you'll have uh, pins, and other times, like on this right here, the actual metal dial itself is held on by pins. There's one here, one right there. But if you actually want to remove it from the actual mechanism, there's a screw here and right there, and that will actually disconnect it from the rest of the clock and take the face off. So. This right here is a flathead screwdriver. Uh, this bit right here is a bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out for another one. Okay. Alright, now I'm ready to begin, and I always start at the top. They're going to take out, this one has one, two, three, four, five. Some will have six, some might only have two, like the one I just showed you. But you're going to, this is kind of tedious process, but you're just going to unscrew each and every one. And sometimes you can get them to where you can just take them out like that. And this screw, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really tiny. I'm setting that down next to everything else so I do not lose it. And I'm going to do number two, number three, four, and five, uh, ending with the bottom two. And hold on. Get this off the screw and then scrap and scrap middle face. Some clocks of paper, some of them wooden ones. This one here is. Pretty metal. The one I just showed you is like sort of stone. I'm not really sure what that is. One screw seems to be holding on pretty well. So we'll take it out. You gotta have a thumb right here on the top. Apologize if you can't see that well. It's a little tricky because they're small. Use my 
fingers now. There we go. Okay. So now nothing is supporting the dial, so I'm gonna just slowly close the glass and then it should come right off. Okay, now that we have our glass off, it's careful to put this in the place so you're not going to break it. It still has both pieces together. I'm just keeping it closed. Now here is the metal dial. It's not actually a complete circle. It's rounded off here and the corners are folded uh, up around the edges. So I'm going to take this off. On this clock there's no access from the front. You can only access, access the movement from the back and that is how you remove it from the face of the clock. Uh, putting it back on you just follow your steps back.